Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. I pray that you are amazing. That is my new favorite word, amazing, because the amazing grace of God is in my life, and it's in your life also. I pray that you recognize that and that you start to realize that your life is amazing. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I want to talk to you about something that's so prevalent in this world right now. It's, oh my gosh, anxiety. First, let's read Joshua 1.9. Listen to this, guys. Have not I commanded thee. God is not suggesting. He's commanding. That's an order, y'all. It's a chain of command, okay? He's our Lord and Savior. He's our general. He's our everything, right? He commands you. He says, but be strong and be, have good courage. He says, be strong and be of good courage and do not be afraid. He hasn't given us a spirit of fear or dismay. Because for the Lord thy God, our God, goes before us everywhere we go, honey. So let's just remember that, okay? That's Joshua 1.9. Now, anxiety isn't something that you can beat in one day, but it's you can beat it one thought at a time, one day at a time, okay? Most of our anxiety comes from wrong thinking. We've already established that, right? Everything that we, everything that is going wrong in our lives or right is because we're thinking about it in a certain way. You know that most people can't stand to be around their husbands or their wives after they've been married for so long. Why? Because they're thinking of their spouses in a negative way. It could be true that the person is doing all the things that they're thinking about but god has commanded you to, to to think a certain way you you don't people think that we fall in and out of love no we don't love is not a feeling it's a choice y'all and let's get that straight that when we make that choice to love someone that there are feelings attached to that absolutely because remember god is love god is the very definition of what love is so when you look at your relationship and the next time you tell someone you love them stop for a moment and act Ask yourself how you're thinking about that person and how you treat that person because love, agape love, the love, the definition of God's love is that it does what's best for the recipient at any given time, honey. That means it's not about you, boo boo, it's about them, right? So let's get that under our hat or let's put that in our pipe and smoke it, okay? Because <laughs> we're smoking something else, honey, that's making us go crazy. I love you guys. I am on, oh my goodness, I am on Do Not Be Afraid Boulevard. And I follow my Lord and Savior Avenue. Where you at? Holla.